Hello everyone, my name is Gary Springgarn. I am Product Manager at Hamamatsu for Infrared Devices. Today I'll be going over our gas detection demo for carbon dioxide. This demo will be live at Photonics West 2024. So what's going on inside this little gas detection module? Well, first there's a 4.3 micron LED. Why 4.3 micron? That is a very strong absorption band for carbon dioxide. And then we have a couple of the NASB diodes, each with a bandpass filter. Now, the first bandpass filter is centered at 4.3 at the band. This is the measurement channel. The other diode is the reference channel centered at 3.9. Now, one diode, especially the one at 4.3, is going to see a whole lot more signal initially, right? Because that's where the LED is emitting. Now, on the principles of absorption in Beer's Law, if carbon dioxide enters this space, the non dispersive infrared space, some of that light is gonna get absorbed or gobbled up and that measurement channel is going to see a lower signal. Now all this comes down to the ratio of those signals. That directly relates to parts per million. That's what everybody wants. What's the concentration in real time? That's what everyone wants to know. So why don't we just give this all a shot? With my own breath, I'm going to uh, throw carbon dioxide into the space and it's going to gobble up that light and you should see the parts per million measurement change in real time. So as you can see, a bunch of carbon dioxide is swimming around the space right now. The ratio of the signals has changed, and that directly correlated to the parts per million. And now, the inverse is true. If I were to purge the space with atmospheric air, the voltages should go back to where they were, and it'll go back down around to where atmospheric is, around 4 point, uh, 400 parts per million. So, as you can see, it's a real-time measurement. The components inside have a long lifetime, they have low power consumption, making it a great choice for certain environmental applications or medical applications. Again, and this will be live at the show, Photonics West 2024, and we hope to see you there. Thank you for your time.